is up, Trainters? Ludo here, back with another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go. And right now, we are waiting for some Mickey D's because there are new Pokemon toys in the McDonald's stuff. And I can be a kid, even though Toys R Us is gone. I'm still a kid, but while we wait, some exciting news. I uh, set up a trade of an old, old golem with the boyfriend and he gave me a trash Piplup and it turned into a 93 Lucky Piplup, so I'm super happy. I have a Lucky Piplup and it's a 93%, so we have that good to evolve. We also have a 96 Chimchar and I'm still on the search for a good Turtwig because I want to do the first, first little batch uh, evolution in a video of itself, so. Super exciting, I'm really happy with this Piplup. Currently, the regionals are still kind of, they've been majoritively figured out of where they are. Here is a map. Uh, they've kind of figured out where they are, but there are still some reports coming in from other areas that they are getting some. So it's still not necessarily 100% confirmed, probably, you know, like 98% confirmed on where these regionals reside right now. And as we get further into it, I'm pretty sure we will get a more definite on that. And then just a little reminder, this time last year, we already were in the Halloween event. We were in uh, San Francisco and San Bernardino area, and we already had the Halloween event going on. So I guarantee you, uh, Monday, if not Tuesday, we're gonna be seeing an announcement or a drop for a Halloween event, which we probably will get new Pokemon from as well, Gen 4 Ghosts, and probably Giratina as a raid boss. That's what everybody is suspecting, so get excited, look out for that. It's gonna be coming soon. They're gonna be doing something soon. There's no way they're not gonna do a Halloween event. Their Halloween events are probably one of their best events in game, so they can't skip it. But besides all of that, today we are just concentrating on doing some Shinx raids to see if we can get a shiny Shinx, and then we might go down to the pier area to play around with some AR stuff. So that's what we're doing is we're getting some Pokemon toys, we're doing some shiny Shinx hunting, and some AR shot shooting. So yeah, just just gonna wait for the food. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Yes, we yes. do. You guys eating Yes. yes, we are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we wanted the Pokemon. Aw, oh, that's cute. I actually like Thank you very much. Um, we do sell the display too at the end of the time. Oh. It's only like 25 bucks and it's all towards charity, so it's not oh, any cool. profit or anything. Okay. But just right. you guys Good know. to know. Yeah, thank, thank you very you. much. Okay, we have it. It's not in a Pokemon box, which is unfortunate, so I'm definitely going to be coming back to get a Pokemon box at least. And she just told us that they sell the displays. It all goes to charity. They sell the displays for the Pokemon things and their their stuff every time at the end of the runs, 20 to $25. So if you have a local one that you wanna go and get that, uh, bank in on that. It goes to charity and that's fantastic to know as well. So we're gonna open this up here. Woohoo, I haven't had a Happy Meal in like forever. We got... Latios. And then he got Latios as well. Bummer. I think they change every week. And a Pokemon card. No, it's it's different every time. I assume it's the Latios card. Oh no, it's a Cubone. Ooh, it's a hollow cube. Ooh, that's really cool and pretty. Let's see if you can. Ooh, super pretty, huh? And then our little Latios toy. Its head moves. Its wings do not. And then it, you know, has little rollers so it flies. Cute, fun, yay. What was your card? I don't know. He didn't open it. I will open it for him. Okay, so his card is oh, upside down a magnemite and it's a little uh holographic one too oh cool. cute and these are like in my opinion these are special editions because they're they're coming from distribution of mcdonald's and i would think that they were probably specifically made for that so Yay, exciting for foods. Uh, we're gonna eat our foods and then we're gonna find ourselves at some Shinx Raid. So we will see you at a Shinx Raid. Play this record as frequently as possible.
Okay, so I think uh, we're done playing with AR because like look at the glitches that keep happening. It keeps on like I clicked out of AR and then now it just shows like oh there's grass everywhere. It's like playing the original Pokemon game almost in real life. It's kind of cool. But anyways, uh, that was really fun. Some of those AR shots turned out really good. I'll be posting them to the Twitter and I'll let you guys know what that Twitter is. Major light in my face, oh my gosh. Like, get out of the light. Okay, now that I'm not in like direct sunlight, uh, haven't found any Shinx raids yet, so we're gonna keep looking around to see if we can find some Shinx raids, but for now I think we're just gonna walk the rest of this down front, down front, this waterfront, downtown area, down front. Ooh, so shiny check, no. Shiny Chikorita check, no. Shiny Love Disc check. No. And then we got that Ivysaur there to catch as well. Ooh, you know I'm gonna AR that. So, uh, gonna AR this real quick and then we're gonna get on our way to find a Shinx raid, so. Okay, so cool AR shots of that. And then, yo, a wild Arcanine. I have not seen a wild Arcanine in ages. So once again, I'm putting it in this spot. So backlighting, enjoy the AR shots and then we're gonna find Shinx Rays. did not find any Shinx raids anywhere. We did do a couple Baneri raids, but that's not a Shinx, nor is it shiny. But now I have a good Baneri to, uh, well, a decent Baneri to evolve once I do that. We did also find a good Turtwig as well, so now I have uh, a decent Turtwig. And then of course, as you guys saw, we did all those AR picks. So those are going to be, uh, I'm gonna edit them and I'll post them to my Twitter, some of them. And then I will post to my Twitter, the other Twitter as to where I will be posting the rest of them. So be sure to follow my Twitter to know how and where to follow the other Twitter so you can see the air photos. But that's really about it. Uh, the word on the street is that Shinx raids are really hard to come by, really far and few in between and really rare. So uh, hopefully we can find one at least sometime soon so that way you can at least get the dex registration if it's not shiny, but hey. So we will have to continue that hunt in another episode, another day, so stay tuned for that. Tomorrow is Beldum Community Day. We're gonna be going into downtown Portland, meeting up with some friends. So stay tuned for that as well. Have fun on your community day. This will probably be uploaded after that. So, you know, I hope you had fun. Either way, comment down below. Let me know if you got a shiny Shinx. Maybe post it to Twitter and tag me in it so I can see it. And while you're at it, please scroll down, give me that like, maybe consider subscribing if you're not. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye.